Hi there folks, Paul Bars signing in for a very quick how-to tutorial using the redirection plugin for WordPress. Now once you've installed the plugin it will end up down here in the tools section of your sidebar menu. Its purpose as you can see here in some of these samples I already have, I use it often for a page name if I want to change the name or I want to move a page and you know and one page particularly becomes sort of outdated and I'm updating it and any links to that page, should someone click on them through, they will be redirected to the new page I've created. So how we can use that within our advertising, if you remember I generated a page with the UTM form builder with, which enables tracking codes for Google Analytics. I've got that in here which I'm going to copy and paste. I did have to just make one alteration, a typo that I noticed. It doesn't work with typos. However, I'm now going to copy this URL into the redirection plugin. Here's the target. That's where we want it to go. That's where it gets placed. What we now need to do is create a friendly URL. Something, it doesn't even have to exist, but it looks like it does. So let's say with this one, I'm sending people to my shop, all of my products, using my newsletter, which is going by email let's say I'm doing a, a Christmas offer so I might call this slash Christmas and I'm making an offer to my subscribers in my newsletter for Christmas so slash dash Christmas and then I add that redirection what happens now if you look down here in the bottom left hand corner when I mouse over it it looks like pullbars.com slash Christmas a page URL but it's not really, it's a redirection. And if I now open that up in a new window, what I get is redirected to the shop with all of that tracking information in there. Now I can have it sending to any page. Remember, up here, we told the campaign what page we wanted to send to. We told it that the source was gonna be through our newsletter which goes out by email and the campaign we gave it a name shop so that's how it works and what happens then in Google Analytics with goals being set up that's important is as goals are achieved let's say somebody goes through the shop and they you know purchase one of my programs then it will track that as goal achieved they came from the newsletter via email now I might also run the exact same, same campaign but the source could be Facebook paid ad. Do you see where I'm going with this? All we have to do is change the source and the medium. Is it a PPC, pay-per-click advertisement? Is it an email? Is it a banner ad? What's it going out through? Maybe it's going out through Google AdWords. Maybe it's going out through Facebook. That's the source and then the medium and that's how we create friendly links that we can use both in our digital media but also our print media I mean wouldn't that look an awful lot better pullbars.com slash Christmas yes and that's what you need to be doing for your marketing campaigns as well tracking where they're coming from how the ad was presented and giving each campaign a name so that your Google Analytics can collate that data to give you feedback on what you're doing.